Got him. What an outstanding delivery. That is a magnificent delivery. That is one of the best Yorkers you will ever, ever see. And Pat, you told it. You said he has the ability every now and then to bowl an amazing delivery. Yep, and this is a big one. And it's not by chance. It's he's he's planned it straight in there, in swinging Yorker. Look at the face. Yes, please is what he's saying. Big, big wicket. So Jacques Callas goes for 38 off 99 balls, and South Africa now have lost their fifth wicket. 177 on the board. Did they make sure South Africa got home? Bowl him! There you go. <laughs> Jacques Callas is gone. Shahid Nazir has broken this partnership with 117 runs. What a mighty innings this has been. This is a look at the dismissal. Gets an absolute peach of a ball. That is a beauty. Oh, he'll settle for that, Jacques Callas. That's too good for him, but the job's done. He nods. What an innings has come to an end. Jacques Callas. But he has this trigger movement, which is uh, a movement well before the bowler delivers, just to get him nice and balanced. Have a look at this movement. Got him. That is outstanding bowling. Outstanding bowling from Brett Lee. They know that is the huge wicket, and I just wonder if he was a little bit late in that trigger movement. I'm sure our slow motions will, will tell us more. There had to be some uh, movement off the pitch back into Callis, yes. Off the inside pad. Top delivery. I must say, I think that'll clean up most batsmen. And yet again, Lee strikes for Australia. The, the big wicket, Jacques Callis. He has to go for 37. South Africa now, 106 for four. Big shot. Big Yorker! Follows up the ripping bouncer. Big wicket. Well, that was a great combination uh, from Brett Lee. Soften him up with a bouncer. And then right through him with the Yorker. Jack Callis, a very, very good defensive player. That takes some doing to hit his stumps. Brett Lee has done it. South Africa have lost their third wicket. He noticed with the bouncer, he's a little slow to play the hook shot. He's also slow to play the defensive shot. Magnificent wicket. Great execution by Brett Lee. Jacques Callis, 23 departs. Three for 184. Go bowl. Yes, Andrew Flintoff. That's a magic Yorker from Andrew Flintoff. And that is the end of Jack Callis for today. Well, the break with De Villiers' injury helping England. Andrew Flintoff with the full Yorker. Just drifted away. Hit the outside of off stump. Callis was bowled with a Yorker in his first innings of this Test Series. That man again, Andrew Flintoff, wins the battle of the all-rounders. Just two slips. Well, that's a fantastic delivery from Steve Harmison. Thank you and good night. What a delivery from Harmison. He knocks over Jacques Callis for a duck. Well, they celebrate, and so they should. He's missed that by some distance. A little bit too late. It's got it. Brilliant stuff from Sarah Gungurdi. No shot offered by Jacques Callas. It's cannon into that off stump. He's in the attack, the skipper. And they're in a frenzy now at Eden Gardens. They sure are. And uh, good work from the skipper to bring himself on. A change of pace, a change of angle. He's got the two left arm quicks, but he comes in from the other side. Two very close LB shouts the previous over. An outside edge, and now this one. Just hitting the bales, and Callis not offering a stroke. Certainly what India required at this stage. <laughs> it is a god, another test wicket to me. Thank you very much.
Can't leave those. It's a fine delivery. Just come back in from James Anderson. Nonetheless, it was far too close with the original line that anyone could be leaving that alone. Well, misjudgment from Jacques Callis. There's no question about that. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of Ingram, and then cut back outside off stump. Jacques Callis having a look. Well. And a tremendous delivery came back at him reverse swing one thinks and the important victim of Jacques Callas has been removed great bowling from Mohamed Sami giving the Pakistani team a breakthrough before the new ball is taken and having said that it was great bowling from Mohamed Sami it was poor batting from Jacques Callas when the ball is reverse swinging you cannot afford to leave the ball well alone he had to pay the price is on the way back and Muhammad Sami has provided the Pakistani team with a huge breakthrough Jack Alice after scoring 105 runs is on the way back South Africa 252 for six Santa Fernando back in the attack now Got him. first ball back he's got one straight through John Callis looked like he missed a straight one Callis has gone fourth wicket down for South Africa what a delivery Dead straight, just held its line, didn't swing in. Now Fernando has swung the ball in. Pitches and goes off the seam. But a millimeter. Callis has played inside it. What a big wicket for Sri Lanka. Callis gone for 84, South Africa 219 for four. Solid start this by South Africa. 87 for one. Here's Srinath. Oh, he's bowled him. Srinath has beaten Callis. I think it might have been an inside edge, but that is the strike that India wanted. And it's Javagar Srinath who takes his second wicket. That is a great blow for India. Callis has gone for 24. Hitting six boundaries before the genuine pace of Shaib Akhtar earned its reward. Akhtar claimed Callis and... Caddick bowled okay. Bowl him out! Um, but uh, Malali sprayed it around. Goff didn't bowl so well, and we wasted a. Oh, what a beauty. An absolute Bobby Dazzler. Darren Goff has ripped one through Jacques Cullis's defence. And that takes some doing because Callis has made a hundred and he was in beautiful touch again today. We were just trying to contain. Bold him. Beautiful from side bottom. Out of nowhere, really, the in swinging Yorker. What a delivery. As you say, Ness, that's come out of nowhere. Fantastic in swinging delivery. Got through the defences of Jacques Kellis. He was a very dangerous ball, a Yorker, and just held for the in swing on the reverse swing. Hindemith. Kellis has gone for 13. 357 for three, South Africa. Jack Callis gone. Well, take what you get. You get a batsman chopping and playing on. Take it as it comes. Michael Kaspervich has worked very hard in this game. And uh, that's deserved success for him. a fitting way to bring up 300 to uh, disturb the furniture getting congratulations from all his teammates and it's
It's been a magnificent performance here today and uh, over many years. Beautiful delivery. 300 wickets for Warren. Look at it. It's nice, beat him in flight. Got him forward. Went between the gap between bat and pad. That's beautiful buying. Deceived the batsman completely. Callis, a well-made 45 for Warren. 300 magnificent test wickets. Eight for 96. But um, that's a pretty part of the world. Australia versus South Africa, second to the sixth. Oh, well, damn, he's got him bowled. Well, what a delivery that was. Now, that was very interesting. He was jumping around at the crease there. No real shot offered. He's been so positive at going forward or going back positively. All of a sudden, it just seemed that one must have really nipped back at him. But what a good ball from Rifle. He's produced another gem. Yes, just when it was needed, just when his captain wanted a wicket, did cut back. He played outside it actually first thing is he was caught behind off a ball like that but that was well bowled by rifle he gets his second wicket and all of a sudden you get a feeling in australia with a real chance now new batsman the ball still new callous gone a magnificent century he'll get a great ovation really does deserve the importance of the crowd here courageous innings but the work's not done yet for south africa i don't know the correct ruling on that one but it must be very hard for the keepers Pulled him round his legs. Unbelievable effort. That's what Shane Wong was trying to do. I think Callis' idea, his technique was correct, but he's got to make sure he covers the stumps. And Shane Wong gets his fourth wicket here. Worked really hard to get Jack Callis out here. A dour effort. The Australians are absolutely ecstatic here with the fifth, the sixth wicket falling today. Here it is. He's pitching outside the rough. And he just doesn't cover the leg stump. And over goes the leg pole. That's an ugly sound too when you're a, you're a batsman. The death rattle. And now South Africa are six for 127. Chopped it on. Very good stuff from Chris Martin. That's come back quite late. It's hit high on the splice. He's been bowling the short balls to callous this over. High on the splice. The angle of the bat has taken the ball back onto the timber. Bowled in, inside edge, same sort of fashion that Streak himself was out. On this occasion, he's the bowler, Callis is the batsman. Well, it didn't look all that particularly venomous, but the new... Yeah! Wicket, breakthrough. Jack Callis is the man that's gone. Matthew Hoggard has got it, just when England needed it. Well, the informed batsman chops it onto his stumps. Jack Callis, who has gotten to 158 and has been there for some time, even he couldn't keep it out. Got him inside edge onto the stumps. The fifth wicket goes down for South Africa, and it's Jack Callis, James Anderson. What a combination these young bowlers are proving to be. They're growing, they're growing in stature. as he departs it's got to be said it's not the ideal time to say anything Sri Lanka have got four South African wickets down ball him off the under edge that is a big 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 wicket for the West Indies Jack Callis in the first over after lunch off the under edge around the line gets him it's 209 for five He's brought back into the attack and he's got rid of Jacques Callas. So South Africa losing two quick ones. Now two for 35. Much the delight of the local crowd here. That is another big wicket. So Kirsten the first to go. And now Callas. 